Maitreya's Call by Benjamin Krim's Master, A Master Speaks, Volume 1, page 75. Whenever the forces of light and darkness come together to do battle, men may be assured that the victory will be with the light. However long the struggle, the end is not in doubt. For this reason, there is no need to fear in the present conflict. All outer events notwithstanding, the forces of light are in the ascent and steadily inculcate a new and higher rhythm and purpose in men's lives. This being so, naught can disturb the plan for the rehabilitation of the world. The outer signs of turmoil and violence, of hatred and fear, are but the death throes of a dying civilization under the impact of the new. When the smoke of battle has cleared, humanity will find itself entering into a new dispensation unlike aught known before, into, as Maitreya has said, quote, a simpler life where no man lacks, where no two days are alike, where the joy of brotherhood manifests through all men, unquote. To create such a life, much effort will be needed. All must be forged by man himself under the guidance of the Great Ones. All that obstructs the creation of the new civilization must be relinquished, and the stage reset for the construction of more adequate forms. Herein lies the opportunity for humanity to show its true creative genius and capacity for renewal. Man is a potential god, and soon that divinity will find expression in the spiritual transformation of the world. Let it not be assumed that men will re-enter the churches. This is unlikely to be the case. But in every field of endeavor wherein men is engaged, a new divine livingness will manifest itself, and a new radiance issue from the lives and actions of men. That this will call for sacrifice is obvious, but only for the sacrifice of selfishness and greed. These alone create the divisions which separate the people and threaten now the very existence of the race. Such a willing sacrifice will take men to the heights of achievement and confirm them as potential gods. Certainly today, there is a longing for change and a recognition of the need for sacrifice. Wherever thoughtful men and women meet together and talk of the needs of the time, this fact is known. Until now, however, it remains but an ideal. No nation takes the lead and shows the way. Maitreya has come, therefore, to show that only through sacrifice of narrow, selfish interest can the bridges between the factions be built, the tensions resolved, the hungry fed. Be ready, then, to accept the sacrifices which you will be called upon to make of your privileges and power, your nation's influence and wealth, your unjust share of the world's resources. Be ready to accept that all men are one, that God loves all equally, and that each is a reflection of the divine. When you see him, Maitreya will leave you in no doubt. The course you have to follow will be clear. Quote, take your brother's need as the measure for your action and solve the problems of the world. There is no other course, unquote.